I personally went into space engineering because I kind of found there's a sort of a hierarchy of engineering. At the top of that is aerospace and mechanical engineering, which is the pinnacle of technology and scientific discovery. I used to drive around California with my dad going to soccer tournaments, and uh, there wasn't a question on science or physics or anything like that that he couldn't answer. He would explain to me the relationship of time and the speed of light and things like that, and so I grew up thinking that there's an engineer knew everything. I did uh, a science competition when I was in seventh grade, and it was a system where you had to develop, um, like it was a Rube Goldberg. I just loved it. I loved the idea of all the mechanisms just kind of going and reacting with one another. That was the really first time that I got interested in engineering, and I knew from that moment on that's what I wanted to do. NASA used to have poster days downstairs, and they would bring inspirational posters in to get people excited. And on one of the Bring Your Kids to Work days, I came and walked home with an 8.5 by 11 poster that talked about what Olympics on the moon might look like. So it was an artist's concept of an enclosed glass dome. And I looked at that and said, I want to build that moon base in that arena. Aerospace to me was the hardest engineering. The aerospace engineers were the hardest core guys. They stayed the latest, they got up the earliest. Um, and I said, that's what I'm gonna try. And if I can make it doing that, then I can make it doing any of this other stuff. So a lot of things that are outside of your control, so you're just kind of sitting there on pins and needles. And so that also adds to the excitement of it. Is thing gonna go up? Okay, there it goes. All right, it's going up into space. Is it going to the right place? It looks good. Did it really work? And then you find out later it did. I think it's been a minimal opportunity for quite a few years. There really was no job application to be an astronaut. as a childhood dream of a lot of folks years ago, but I think it kind of evolved since then. But I mean, I would go to space if, just for the view. That's <laughs> So I've actually applied to be an astronaut in the past. I, I, the moment I met the eligibility requirements, I sent in my first application and I got rejected and it was awesome because at least I knew that I, I could compete with them. It's a very competitive job. Sharing the information with graduates and people coming out of school where they can see where they can be working and the things that they can be working on and how that really benefits the international community and our national defense, I think that would be a great way to get college graduates and other people more involved and more willing to go into the aerospace sector. It needs to be a priority for you know, our industry to, to reach back and work with students and get them engaged, get them excited about space exploration. And even if they don't end up in space exploration as a career, as aerospace engineers, they'll take what they've learned, take those STEM degrees and apply them somewhere else. Sending people to Mars, sending rockets to space and payloads and satellites and landing on an asteroid, which is one of the next NASA missions, that's cool. Kids love that. There are going to be mundane times where, you know, you spend half of a day figuring out what's the right bolt to use. And sometimes that's not super exciting. And so what keeps you connected on times like that is the overall kind of greater purpose of what you're doing. And working some of the restricted programs, you feel very much connected to that. And you feel like you're making a difference. I'm not in the military, but I do know people in the military. And I want them to come home safely. I know they have loved ones at home that expect to see them walk through the door. And for them to do that, for them to come home safely, I need to make sure that I bring my A-game and do my best job to ensure that the products that we work on are of the highest quality and work 100% of the time. And that's what drives me to do the best job that I can and that's what gives me pride in my career. The next generation of computing, the next generation of robotic applications, the next generation of microelectronics, those can all be filtered directly into space applications by an open community of space sort of entrepreneurs, if you will. But why space? Uh, you know, because it's there. Because we might not be alone. Because being able to say I am an astronaut is maybe one of the single greatest sentences ever. Um, you know, a star sailor.
That's beautiful. <laughs>